Yo, what's up out there, YouTube world? It's your boy back here, the man with the purple tints. I need to get them fixed. But huge fat loser here. Um, today, I want to talk about two things. Number one is hard work. And number two is the Jersey Shore. Yeah, I know, the Jersey Shore. I watch a lot of crappy TV. I watch the Jersey Shore. I watch The Bachelor. I watch The Bachelorette. I watch all that stuff, all right? It is what it is. We all got our guilty pleasures. That's mine. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is hard work, right? People ask me all the time, they go, what is the best workout? What is the fastest way to burn fat? What is the best cardio? What is the fastest way to lose fat? What is the quickest way to do this? Listen, there is no quickest way. There is no fast way. There is no easy way. The way is to put in the work, all right? And I know that sounds you know, a little ridiculous, and it's not probably not the answer that you want to hear, but it's the truth. You know, if you want to start, get started. Don't waste your time going on the internet looking up the best program, the best cardio, the best diet, the best whatever. Just go and start, and then work that stuff out as you go along, because the longer that you wait trying to find the right solution, the perfect solution, you you could have started already and you'd already be halfway where you want to be. I'm I'm serious. When I first started, I knew nothing. I knew absolutely nothing. All I knew that I wanted to lose weight, I wanted to get in shape, and I just started. And I started by tracking calories because it was something that I did like back in the day. And it was something that worked the best for me. Low carb doesn't really work for me. I mean, I've tried it throughout this process a couple times, but Tracking calories has been the way for me for the you know for the most part. Um, you know, you look on the internet, everybody contradicts each other. Everybody knows the right way, the perfect way. There is no right way and no perfect way. You choose what you want to do, make it work. If it's not working for you, change it up, see if that works. Be con the most important thing is to be consistent and learn as you go. Okay? Don't get stuck in old habits. Put in the work continuously consistently be dedicated and it'll work I'm telling listen I'm telling you from experience the thing that has worked for me above all else doesn't matter what program is just be consistent the days that you don't want to go to the gym make sure you go the days where you're sitting in the store and you're like man that candy bar looks good don't do it think to yourself hey is this gonna help me or hurt me is this gonna help my goals or is this gonna hurt my goals and yeah, it's tough sometimes. Like if I have a long shift or a long day and I'm tired, especially if I'm tired, I've almost like justified in my head. I'm like, oh man, you know, I'm tired. I, you know, I worked hard. Like, no, you have to have extreme self-control of the situation. Okay. You have extreme self-control of the situation. That's it. Like you can't make bad decisions anymore. I have a cheat meal at once every week. Okay, and that's worked out for me pretty pretty well. I also break my ass in the gym every single day. Not every single day. I work out five to six days. I lift five days. Okay, but like I said, just put in the hard work, be consistent, and it'll work. There is no shortcuts. There is no magic pill. There is no, you know... No diet plan that's going to work perfectly. It just doesn't exist. People have to write books. People have to make money. And I'm telling you right now, put in the work. The second thing I want to talk about is the Jersey Shore. And you're going to be like, oh, man, the Jersey Shore, the show sucks, blah, 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 whatever. Stop. Listen, I know it wouldn't be such a big show if people didn't watch it, okay? Like, Snooki is a best-selling author. Think about that, okay? Two times, I think. All right. Oh yeah, nobody likes it, but she's a two-time best-selling author. Look, I never read her books, whatever. But I'm saying people watch the show and they listen to what they have to say. But the thing I want to talk about about the Jersey Shore is if you saw it, it's the transformation from the situation to the inspiration. All right? Yo, listen. It's absolutely phenomenal, okay? Like if that guy, this is what I talk about all the time with myself, look at him. All right. If you watched the show before and you're watching it now, look at the transformation between who he was then and who he is now. If that guy can change, 
his whole life and become what he is now, you can do the same thing. I'm telling you right now, it's not going to be easy. It's going to take process. It's going to take steps. And but you can you can easily do that. Listen, I know it's just the first episode. And listen, I know he's not listening to this. But Mike, I'm telling you right now, if you mess this up, I'm going to be really pissed at you. I'm I'm being serious. You have a new chance at life. You have a new chance in the world. Like this is amazing. Like what you're doing is amazing. Like you really inspiring people like seriously including myself and i know that's crazy to be like yo you're inspired by the, the situation from the jersey Shore." yeah dude listen if you didn't watch the show you have no idea what i'm talking about but if you watch the show you see that like he is a completely different person and the rest of his castmates will t have said that it's amazing to see that and you know i f actually feel for him because your friend and i know this from experience like when you become a different person and then you go back to hanging out with people who don't know the person that you now are and the now become, they almost expect you to be that person that you were. And it's almost hard, it's almost, I'm sorry, not hard, it's almost very easy to almost get sucked back in to this person that they expect you to be, that you're just not anymore. So listen, I cannot wait. I hope that he makes it through this whole entire thing being the inspiration instead of the situation, man. Like, it, to me, like, that's all. It's just awesome. Like, to see a guy like that transform, it's very inspiring. So, anyway, that's what I got for you today. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Like I said, if you get something out of this, tell a friend, share it on your page, whatever. Say hi. All right. I love all y'all. Have a good day, all right?